They already knew what they were doing with this design. But before we get into that, I gotta tell you guys something. You all know how I've been on a very long quest to try to get Jay to not only max luck or luck 120, let me say, but also get Jay triple four plus. And ladies and gentlemen, we finally got the first one after 2300 runs. I didn't have it on video, unfortunately, but we got it. The first one. Gotta get two more, though. <laughs> God, I don't have enough stamina potions for this. But back to the newest character coming out. Eleanor, or actually Alma, if you guys remember the Awoken character, is dropping in JP. And she has a very um, unique character design, I guess. Uh, she just is in a bathing suit for no reason. She's a professor, surprisingly. And I guarantee you, those students are hard at work. And Eleanor, actually, I think, just dropped today in Grand Summoner's JP. I feel like they literally waited till her actual release to show off anything about this unit's kit. And her kit is very cool to an extent. It's actually, I think, the first super art to not have any damage modifier tied to it. But the amount of stuff it's doing is pretty crazy. This character is going to be a Earth Ascended unit. She actually is going to have really good slots with a six star support, five star magic, four star defense, or a four star heal if you take it all the way up to LB7. In terms of the kit, we have a lot of stuff here that's buffing up Earth allies damage through like Earth res down, also buffing up magic damage for the team, buffing up her own damage, and she also has a lot of self sustaining art gauge in the kit due to one of her passives. And the super art is where the uniqueness really comes into play. So you see for 30 seconds, and you buff up all allies skill CT speeds by 15 times the number of times the super art has been used up to a maximum of 180% and then for equipment CT speed you do five times the number of times the super art has been used up to a maximum of 60% additionally for 15 seconds you buff up all allies damage res by 30% it's unfortunate that damage res doesn't last as long as the rest of the buffs that would be absolutely insane but the fact that this super art is so loaded like that is kind of wild another thing i want to mention as well is that i don't know this isn't confirmed yet but i feel like i have a very strong strong feeling that this equipment ct buff will stack with other equipment ct buffs in the game since this is a stacking equip ct buff and not like just a regular equip ct buff i could be wrong about that but we have to actually see if this does stack with like other unconditional equip cts so if that's the case and that makes this just even better now the thing about eleanor is that she doesn't want to be on just any team though she really wants to be on a mono earth team if she can because if she's on a mono earth team she has a unique passive that gives her two art gauge based on the number of earth allies that are alive in the party up to a maximum of eight so of course running mono earth with her she's going to be getting eight arts per second which is insane she also buffs up all allies magic res by 10 percent, which isn't too bad and you buff up your own seal res by 30 percent we also have a very loaded true weapon as well which works perfectly with her kid uh the skill on this is actually very similar to that of haruto's true weapon a little bit different but pretty much very similar buffing up your own magic damage by 40 percent and reduce the enemy's magic res by 30 percent like i said very similar to hard toes except it's reducing magic res and not earth res and then for her unique ability is that the skill ct buff and the equipment ct buff from the super art will now start at 60 percent and 20 percent respectively that is an absolute game changer for this character you're gonna want this true weapon on her all the time just for that because you're gonna want to use that super art as much as possible and just getting that jump start like that is insanely good overall eleanor actually looks really freaking good the thing that i'm kind of curious about though whenever i first saw this unit was like okay what type of character is going to be used alongside it because even now in the jp version war god finn is still the best earth ascended unit however this one is heavily focused on magic earth characters of course this doesn't mean that you can't use war god finn you absolutely could if you wanted to but really want to be on a magic damage dealing team and there's actually a lot of different characters that can really work with this for one we have the brand new valentine's day lisa valentine's day lisa would be absolutely insane another one that just came out recently is evil eye this is from the overlord crossover and evil eye is also a very very strong earth damage character and magic damage buffer as well not to mention too you make evil eye the leader of the team now all earth allies on the team are going to be dealing 100 more damage oh another thing is too damage res on this team is going to be absolutely insane i don't know if the damage res from um eleanor's was stacked with damage res from evil eyes but even with that still it's going to be about 50 percent dr happening all the time 
very, very strong. So she definitely has some units to mess around with. Outside of mono earth teams, I feel like this character will still be pretty good, by the way. Like you could absolutely get away with using her just for her skill CT buffs and equipment CT. Skill CT is gonna be insanely good in like miasma fights where you're gonna want this. The only bad part would be is that uh, you won't be able to have that 180% skill CT right out the gate. But uh, with, you know, her true weapon equipped and stuff, you can definitely jump start it and get it going a lot quicker. So yeah, in miasma, I feel like this character is gonna be one of the best units to actually use. And also just using her like in other like types of team comps just to buff up like magic damage and also to give like the equipment CT buffs to everyone. Like this character is definitely gonna be pretty solid. Uh, she's not like overly broken by any means, but definitely a good character to like maybe pick up if you have like the extra crystals laying around on the Japanese version. Um, yeah, definitely not bad by any means. Very, very strong character. But hey, you guys let me know down below what you all think about her. Like I said, for me, she seems like a very strong, very solid option. And I feel like if she comes out on the global version eventually, she's going to be setting at a very strong, probably S tier, maybe even A tier character when it comes to ascended units specifically. But hey, if you summon for this unit or are going to be summoning for her on the Japanese version, I wish you the best of luck. Hopefully you got her. And if you did, let me know how good she is down below in the comment section. Oh, and if you enjoyed this video, have me check out either one of the other videos popping on your screen right now. Great content. Guarantee you love them. And one more thing before you leave. Don't read a drink water.